I did it. I did it because I love you, Jay. I did it for our family. I did it. I did it. <laughs> That's all I thought. When Jay explained his reason, that's all I thought. The Rock, <laughs> the Rock, uh, Rikishi storyline from back in the day. Rikishi running over Stone Cold because he did it for The Rock. He did it for the People's Champion. <laughs> What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we got to talk about this. We got to talk about this. This is really the only reason why uh, a lot of people were tuning in to SmackDown because they want to know. What was Jimmy's reasoning for betraying Jay in the main event of SummerSlam between uh, Roman Reigns and Jay Uso to see who's going to be the WWE Unspeeded Universal Champion and the head of the table? And we wanted to know why, Jimmy. Why did you do what you did? Well, we found out tonight, and uh, I got to talk about it. So let's get right into this, man. So Roman comes out there, as Roman usually does you know acknowledge me and lately he's only been coming out with the wwe undisputed universal championship so i don't think they've retired to other belts but paul doesn't usually have them out with him i haven't i mean sometimes he does but it's not all the time and this is another time where he just came out with the uh undisputed uh universal championship uh it was him uh roman paul and solo as as per usual comes out there the usual stuff acknowledge me all this other stuff and uh pretty much <clears throat> he asked paul Heyman, have you talked to jimmy have you talked to him and uh paul said yeah i did talk to him but jimmy didn't want to talk to me and then all of a sudden jimmy just spawns out of nowhere with the black hoodie and the black bandana he just spawns ringside puts pull down the hoodie you know puts down the hoodie to reveal his face people were booing him People are chanting, you sold out because he did per storyline. You know, crowd was giving him the heat as he should. Roman pretty much was like, oh, don't listen to the crowd. Don't listen to them. We don't want, nobody care about them. Hey, man, what's what's good, bro? What, what, what you want, man? I got you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I appreciate you really helped me out. I appreciate you. So whatever you need, you want, you want a new car. You you know you wanna you want a yacht you want a boat like you know what I'm saying or or maybe it's not material things then, then what you want you know what I'm saying is it do you want power do you want to be my right hand man like he's trying to get him back into the fold because you know Roman Reigns is manipulative and he only does what's best for him so uh Jimmy's like nah I don't want none of that I don't want nothing to do with you. I don't give a damn. I, I'm I'm good on you or whatnot. Then my boy, uh, the Usos music come out. Uh, Jay comes out there, walks down there. I was hoping he was just going to kick everybody in the face and call it a day. But obviously, they had to build up for Jay to, to kind of understand why Jimmy did what he did. He had to ask that question so we can kind of get that answer. He comes down there, he snatches the mic. He's like, bro, I'm about to throw... 30 plus years of our relationship away you know what i'm saying the brothers you know what i'm saying the twin brothers he's like, i'm about to throw it all away so you need to tell me why did you do what you did and here is why i did the whole rock rikishi rikishi running over stone cold i did it for you rock that's pretty much what i got here and it makes sense like father like son jimmy's excuse gotta prepare y'all if you didn't see the show gotta prepare y'all what he said jimmy's excuse was he did what he did because he loved jay he did it not because he was jealous which a lot of people were alluding maybe that was the storyline they were seizing not because he was jealous no 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 he did what he did because he didn't want to lose jimmy i mean he didn't want to lose jay he didn't want jay to end up winning winning the match him becoming the tribal chief and then turning into uh an asshole like roman reigns and roman reigns just sitting in the back like well, me he hit the the 50 cent meme i'm like what do you say fuck me for you know what i'm saying so roman's sitting in the back acting all like i'm not, I'm not, I'm not an asshole what are you, what are you, what are you, what are you talking about but 
it was just one of those things where like it, it, people that was in the chat watching us on live stream we, we call cap it's bs that was a dumb reason i'm gonna just be honest with you that made absolute no sense so at this point you know uh uh i'm gonna say uh jimmy's like you know what i get it i can understand you being mad at me i can understand you don't want to be of my brother anymore i get it i understand i understand if you want to kick me in my face i just had to let you know that's why i did it because i love you and i didn't want you to become what roman is now jay hears this he's pacing back and forth or whatever and then you know uh jimmy is sitting there you know ready to get kicked in the face but jay doesn't do it so jimmy gets out the ring and he walks out slowly might i add Roman starts laughing. He's like, ha, ah, see, I told you. I, I told you this is how this was going to happen. You're stupid, Jay. You don't get it. Uh, th this is not about y'all. No one cares about y'all. This is only about me. It's always been about me for the past three years. It's only about what what the tribal chief, tribal chief wants, in a sense. And, you know, it's all about everyone acknowledging me. And then, as of course, as we were all hoping... Uh, Jay proceeds to kick Roman straight in the face. Beautiful moment. Of course, Solo gets into the mix, attacks uh, Jay. Jay's about to get the Samoan spike. He's able to duck it, and he kicks uh, uh, Solo as well. Kicks him out of the ring, or he rolls out of the ring. Then uh, Roman hits him with the Superman punch. He's about to charge up for the spear. He's talking his trash or whatnot, and he's able to kick Roman again. And then he bounces off the ropes and hit Roman with the spear. Looked beautiful. Then he, he leaves the ring. You see Jay up there. I'm not Jay. You see Jimmy up there on the ramp. Jay picks up the mic as he's leaving the ring. Come here. Come here. Before you leave, come here. He comes back down the ramp. Jimmy looking like he's about to, you know, give him a hug. And he super kicks Jimmy, Jay kicks Jimmy as soon as he's about to embrace for a hug right in the face. Then he uh, proceeds to talk to the camera, Jay. He's like, yo, I'm out the bloodline. I'm done with the family. I'm out the family. And I'm out of WWE deuces and hopped through the crowd and walked away, throwing up the deuces. So per storyline, Jay said he's out the family. I mean, well, out the family, out the bloodline, and he's out of WWE per storyline. So that was quite interesting how that played out. It's going to be very interesting to see what does he mean by that? Like, what's going to happen? Uh, how long will he not be seen on television? It's going to be very interesting to see what they do with that. But Jay has said he's out of WWE. That is very, very interesting. But I got to talk about the elephant in the room. Before we finish this uh, this uh, video, I have to talk about it. I'm going to be honest with you. Jimmy's reasoning makes no sense. I'm sorry. That's I don't know who thought that would be a good idea to go with the I did it because I love you. No. That, that no. I, I That still makes no sense. <laughs> if you love someone, you don't kick them in the face and put them in back in the match for them to lose. Because you don't want them to be like somebody else. Like I don't, I don't, you. I, I prefer they just went with the jealousy route if you were gonna do that. So it leads me to believe I don't know if they are going with a match. I don't know, but that reasoning, Jimmy's reasoning, was not good. That's just my personal opinion. I just think that's like that. That <laughs> it just it just don't make sense. <laughs> I did this because I love you. It's not because I'm jealous. It's just because I love you, bro. And I don't want you to be like Roman. So I'm going to kick you in the face and throw you back in the ring so you can be by, beat by Roman. Get speared through a table, my day at, and then beat by Roman. So, yeah. And that's how uh, SmackDown went off the air. There was some good parts of this segment, of course. Very interested to see what they're going to do with Jay, quote unquote, leaving WWE. At some point, he is going to make his return. So, be interesting to see what they do with that. But what's going to happen with Jimmy? Because he's still not lining with the bloodline. He's not really cool with them. So what's going to happen with Jimmy? What's going to happen? I don't know. So it's going to be very interesting to see 
how things play out or where they plan on going with this but the jimmy turning storyline and the reason behind it that wasn't it so comment down below let me know do you guys like jimmy's reasoning for turning on his brother at SummerSlam? let me know down below also oh uh, how long do y'all think quote unquote jay is gonna be out of wwe i love some of y'all in the comments in the uh in the chat talking about uh, jay uso is now all elite wrestling <laughs> so how long do y'all think jay is gonna be per storyline out and when do you guys think he will make a return or whatnot so and let me know where do they take the direction of the bloodline because a lot of us was assuming it was going to be some jimmy and jay situation uh, uh payback i believe that's the next pay-per-view and that could be the case but it doesn't seem like jay wants to fight i mean jimmy wants to fight jay in a sense like it doesn't seem like they're not going with the jealousy route so how do we get that match i don't know we will see but uh let me know what y'all think about all of this down below but i appreciate all the love and support guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i am still the undisputed youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking with me see y'all next one peace